YouTube, you know the Master Duel Discord has a deck type channel for nearly everything. This is not a promotion of the Discord, but there was a deck type channel missing. Can you believe this? It did not exist, and I wanted to make a video about this deck type and also revive the deck type channel, which is now active. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. This is what I revived. This is the deck type I revived. It is a Karakuri deck. This is going first. I'm gonna show you how to do this. We also have a quick guide that I could, you know, you're pretty much gonna see me do all this. So in the Discord, you could also look at this one by one. And people are now after I revived the deck type channel. By the way, I am copying the deck mostly from a China Master Duel tournament. The player is called 13L. And because of this channel being revived after not existing and new cards made it better, we have more people cooking up even crazier spice. So there will be more to expand off of this. Do not downplay Car Curry. Smug's got a great deck list. Now let's see why you should care about this deck. And it does revive an old card that we thought was dead. Now, what is the goal of the deck? The goal is to, are you ready? It is to summon your Aurora Dawn. So we need to make a Link 3 without Crystron Hauk. So if you are sick of this card back in the day, it's been gone long enough where now you could accept it and summon it yourself. Now it's spicy to summon. Now, thanks to Machina's, we could summon the Aurora Dawn easily because the Machina Fortress will be used as a link. Then it resummons itself, use it as a link. And now you have the Aurora Dawn. And then I'm just going to show you how to Aurora Dawn. We are going to then summon the Machina Metal Crunch. The Metal Crunch is going to be effect veiled, so I'm playing through a disruption or two here. Metal Crunch negated. That's fine. That's fine. Do not worry about it. We're going to Machina Fortress onto the field, and then I'm going to use Regulus to help play through the disruptions to further negate any more disruptions. If you equip the Machina Gear Frame, Gear Frame could special summon in the back row to help you make that Aurora Dawn. Let's go into Ancient Gear Ballista. Ballista is gonna activate adding the gearbox. Gearbox is gonna add a card that we summoned. Wait, wait, not the, where's the card that we summoned with Christian Hauk, the uh, the thing? I think we add in a different way, just wait. We're going to summon Machina Fortress, Shokan into Aurora Dawn. I guess I did not need the Despot 001 in this play that I'm showing you. All right, let's go. In permanence, what the, negate. That's okay. That's okay. Boy, am I uh, messing up this turn one, but I still put on a big field. I think this is the first time I did this and I show you a better way of doing this. I'm just gonna keep showing it to you anyway. I'm gonna show you how I added Despot 001 in probably another replay. Wait, oh, I already had it in the graveyard. That's why, that's why, that's why I already had it. I already used it. Okay, so if you don't add the Tunneler, you could add the Despot 001. As long as you're able to make the Aurora Dawn, you can make a Barricade Blocker to get the 001 in the graveyard. Sorry, I got a bit confused here. Focus, so we're good. We already have it. We're gonna tribute to then summon the Olion from the deck. Now we are going to make TG Hyper Librarian. I do want this in the extra monster zone. We're gonna draw per special summon of a Synchro. Quandax, level four tuner. So essentially we're turning the level one tuner into a level four tuner, drawing into a card. We're going to make Beret. Now, if you think Synchro Spam is confusing, Car Curry is actually really simple. Seven plus one equals eight. Eight plus one equals nine. That's what it do. It, it just plus ones. So we're gonna Librarian, draw, Beret, special summon a level one tuner, then make an eight. Summon a level one tuner, then make a nine. So this is the card that we're summoning, the Karakuri Gamma. Into eight, Burrito Mate. Another draw, draw off Librarian. Burrito, special summon, level one tuner. And then the level nine Karakuri, which I wasn't familiar with, is kind of nuts. So the Gamma has this quick effect in the graveyard that can be used during your turn or your opponent's turn to change the battle position of a Karakuri. And if a Karakuri battle position is changed right here, the Burrito is gonna draw one. Let's go. Look at all the pluses, this is nuts. Change it, draw it, come to me, Citadel. And now, we got Beribu. Beribu, if a battle position of a card carries change during either player's turn, it activates to banish a card the opponent controls. 
So now with the Gamma in the graveyard, we activate this during the opponent's turn, changing its battle position, activate, banish anything. Now the this is the Nanishi level three tuner. We're just going to make a level 10 sinker with the fortress. We're just drawing a ton. We draw on like crazy. We got Baron to floor with this, banish anything with this. He scoops it up early. Now I'm gonna show you the better way, a different way, and it's gonna be very quickly going through it and let's do it. Let's get car recurring. Now you know the turn one better and we're gonna play against someone that's not gonna surrender right away like a fool. We are going to get Ash. No, we're not. We're going to call by the grave, negate that Ash. The Machina deployment's gonna discard a card, add two Machinas from the deck to the hand. We got Fortress and we got the Metal Cruncher. Metal Cruncher is gonna reveal three. And this is what I like to reveal. We wanna get Despot 001 in the graveyard. However we do it, does not matter. Gearbox could add it if we add the Gearbox. We're gonna randomly get the 001. Now we wanna get in the graveyard with the fortress and then now all we have to do is make a link three Aurora Dawn and we're popping off. Gearbox again, Gearbox is gonna be activating to add the tunneler. The priority is I would say 001, then tunneler, but if the tunneler is needed to send itself and the gearbox of the graveyard to summon the fortress from the graveyard in order to make the Aurora Dawn, then tunneler is gonna be added instead of the 001. You do wanna kinda of do it in that priority. The number one priority is make Aurora Dawn, okay? Regulus is going to be equipping the gear frame, gear fr wait, did I not have gear frame in the graveyard? I did not. Okay, we didn't have gear frame, that's okay. We're discarding two to summon the Machina Fortress and now we are Aurora Dawning. So it's very similar to the last play, but you're gonna see a more complete field. 001's gonna be triggered because we searched for it and we summon two machine monsters at the same time, tribute itself and a token to summon the Olion. Olion and the token's gonna make the Librarian. Librarian being someone's gonna trigger the Olion to summon a token. We're gonna make the level four tuner that will trigger the Librarian to draw. We're gonna make a Beret. Remember, Beret plus one and then Burrito plus one. So plus one tuner. We also drawing off Librarian, Burrito, plus one, draw one, and you're actually gonna see me activate the effects during the opponent's turn. And then we're going to change the battle position just to draw one. Very good, another draw. Look at these draws, look at these draws, what the hell? Into Baribu. Baribu, trigger, draw one again. Let's go, summon the Nanishi. We're going to use Tunneler. Tunneler is gonna recycle your Synchros. What the, your, your extra deck monster is back in the deck, draw two, what the? Let's keep on going. We now got Baron to floor again, draw one, and le let's keep on going. And then we have a Machina Fortress. We're also banishing for Ruin Force. <laughs> what? What the? Look at this field, mate. How are you gonna get through this? Through all these draws, you're definitely gonna draw into a Maxi and Ash and your Regulus. Let's go. Give him the Maxi treatment right away. Lightning Storm negates. I could discard the Regulus from the hand instead of sending the one on the fields. Gotcha. I am excited to show you the Baribu. I wanted to make sure I could, oh no, I'm playing against a Chad. Chad mirror match. Switchyard, I'm gonna have to negate you, sorry. We have too many disruptions, too much. Activating the urgent schedule to summon up to two machines from the deck onto the field. Also the new Master Duel leaks that I showcased on YouTube, maybe the clockwork continuous spell might be improving a deck like this, making this deck even better. Yeah? What do you think? Now we got the Night Express Knight special summoning the bullet train and it's time for me to activate my Karakuri. Change the battle position, trigger the Baribu, banishing the monster. And because he is a fellow Chad, he let me fully cook. He could have surrendered. He wanted to see more. I didn't want to waste his time. So I'm like, all right, bro, let's go. Thank you, respect. Lethal damage, let's go. All right, let's show you the deck. And this is the deck. We got triple Kaiju. We got searching up the Machina. You really got to open up the Machina Fortress here, okay? So open this up and then keep on discarding your machines. The goal, again, Get the Aurora down on the field, no matter how you do it. I like with the Metal Cruncher. Metal Cruncher could search for Fortress if you don't already have Fortress. Otherwise, if you already have Fortress, then you want to reveal the gear boxes and the Despot 001. This deck was copied from a Chinese tournament where the player did very well. 
and I would like to expand this on to all of you to let's cook up some different ideas, different plays together. If you get double Machina Fortress on the field, you could summon the Mind Hacker. Mind Hacker could hack the opponent's extra deck. You're going to be able to look in your opponent's extra deck and banish one card from it face down. That could be nuts. That could completely dismantle someone if you get double Fortress on the field, which you saw through all the drawing. It could very likely naturally happen. You just get another Fortress, get them both in the field, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And I thought this felt a lot more simpler than Adventure, Crystron Hauk, Tenyi, because it's just plus one. You're just going Buri, Burrito, and Biribu by just going level one tuner, level one tuner. So the deck's a lot of fun, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more ideas with it with the Colossal Dragon, Thunder Dragon Colossus, and also using the Pitch, Pitch to search it. And thank you very much. That is the deck. Kara Curry, let's go.